एक्ट एंड फ्लुएंसी डिवेलपमेंट इन सेकेंड लैंग्वेज एक्विजिशन नाउ लेटस लुक एट मोर क्लोजली एंडरसन्स मॉडल ऑफ एक्टिव कंट्रोल ऑफ थॉट एंड सी हाउ टॉविल एंड हॉकेंस यूज दिस टू स्टडी फ्लुएंसी इन सेकेंड लैंग्वेज एक्विजिशन Now, what Tovel and Hawkins did was that they tried to build up a model of language uh, processing based on the first language learning of the children. This was based on the assumption of the working of the universal grammar, and as you would remember, that universal grammar assumes that all human beings, by virtue of being human beings, have this innate capability of language learning and this is based on those elements that are common across languages what tovel and hawkins tried to do was they tried to explain the salience of some grammatical items that emerged in children's um, speech so but what do we mean by salience of grammatical items by salience we would mean that some grammatical items appear more uh, uh, appear more frequently rather more uh, before other other grammatical items and they are learned earlier than what then as compared to other grammatical items and this is the, these are the grammatical items that the children pay more attention to so what was the primary concern of this uh, model the primary concern was how does grammatical knowledge transform into fluent performance in second language so if we assume that all children and all human beings have this innate grammar in their mind innate capability in their mind the question is how come that is used to uh, gain fluency in second language learning this was the primary concern of the study now what was the benefit of using an act the benefit of using act or active control uh, of thought model of anderson was that it allowed them to integrate together the question of how learners learn the second language system with how they learn to use the system so they were able to see collectively how the system was learned a and b how was the system actually used so this was an opportunity offered by the use of act model this model was based on this internally driven hypothesis now when we say internally driven hypothesis made by children learning their first language we mean that as children learn their first language they they develop uh, some sort of rules about how the language is being used and how can they actually put the those rules to their own use so tovel and hawkins argue that these hypotheses are stored in the memory in different ways and in different parts of the um, memory and if you would remember Uh, the difference between short term and long term memory which lies at the basis of uh, this model it becomes easier to understand so they argue that the first stage of the model the hypothesis is stored in the declarative long memory that is the children come up with certain rules about how does language work and that rule is stored in the long term declarative memory now this rule might be explicit very clear and they are actually know that they are developing this rule 
or they it might just be implicit by repeating the patterns of the language that they use they might be using those rules and so at, if the second thing is happening it might be subconscious they argue that once that declarative use is uh, declarative knowledge is put to production and used it is proceduralized it is by repetition and by practice it is learned first by association by controlled attention by controlled application and then gradually it moves on to more automatized sort of knowledge and this happens through the use of revision and restructuring of the declarative knowledge itself that means so what does it mean in very simple terms it means when the children are learning their first language they develop some rules of their own they store these rules in their in some part of their memory they try to use those rules and apply them if they are successful uh, yes it becomes gradually automatized by uh, repetition if it is not all right they reconfigure it and they restructure the declarative knowledge and they apply it again until the fluency occurs through automatized uh, process of, of uh, and practice of using the second language